I um, did. I just did oh, want to say ahead. one thing Please with do. the Kanye because um, when that happened, Sarah Silverman, you know, she yes. took to her Twitter yes, and was basically did. like, "Nobody's calling this out." Yes, and a bunch, of course, a bunch of black people were calling this out. Yes, and I think we really have to think about how white supremacy shows up mm-hmm. when all of our allies get upset when only black people come to their rescue and black wow. people come to their defense. Yeah, um, because we've seen this, especially over the last like five years, true. Where in all of the issues, it's like black people who are like, we gotta, we gotta yeah. fight for this, true. And what does that mean for people who've been conditioned to believe that black people are less than one hundred percent? Um, and mm. even if they're not like actively white supremacists, very few people right. have been raised that like black people are their equals, one hundred percent. And so what we're, I think, what we're really seeing with Kanye specifically is like, uh, uh. Not necessarily a white lash, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't know a phenomena of people being like now. Now the niggas get to say shit about us. Right. Well, I like, think you know, like there, there's this like additional rage that I've noticed that when it's like black people right. accused of violence that other folks a hundred percent do, yeah. and yeah. it is very like interesting like to watch how quick. People were able to call something anti-Semitic. How quick they were able yeah. to rally yeah. when it was Kanye, but then when it was like you know a producer, Come or on. this other person, yeah, they were yeah, like, "Well, maybe yeah. he doesn't know about right. it. 100%. Maybe he needs to learn or 100%. you know educate a little bit yeah. more." And, I've, and yeah. I've noticed that you know, absolutely, uh, there's never great shows toward black people. In these never, seasons, you know, never. and it's just like very, very, very interesting. It, it, yeah. Like I work at a lot of the intersections. You know, mm-hmm. that's like my thing. Absolutely, um, but you spoke always, at the Women's March. Unfortunately, I was, wave, yeah. I was just trying to go and support it. And next thing you know, I have a microphone. Um, <laughs> but like for me, um, that's that's what I'm taking it back. And I'm really starting to see it. And it's, it, it makes it very difficult True. Um, to really sometimes do this work. And people are like, why is it just the black people who care about this? Yeah. So mm-hmm. for just for context, Sarah Silverman tweeted, Kanye threatened the Jews yesterday on Twitter. And it's not even trending. Why do mostly only Jews speak up against Jewish hate? The silence is so loud. And so, you know, black people were saying like, well, haven't you heard black Twitter? Like that black people have been talking about Kanye, like you said, not just yesterday, but for years about Kanye's BS. And, you know, it was, but like you said, I think you bring up a great point. I never thought about it like that miracle that like, our voices, because you see us as lesser than as black people, then our voices don't seem as loud to you. Mm-hmm. Or you might not even be following us. Like, you might not even be following us, looking at us. Or, like, if black people are speaking out against Kanye, like, that's not the validation you are looking for. 